Hey, awesome students. Uh, this lesson is your first practice assignment. So we're just beginning the school year and this is uh, math six, semester one, practice 1.1.4. We're dividing fractions. Okay. Um, here, if you go to this link right here, I'll have all of your lessons at mrmathblog.com and then you click the independent study link. I'll show you that real quick, you guys. So here's mrmathblog.com and these are all the classes I've taught right across. And so I'm working on this right here. This is a work in progress. So I have all of my independent study uh, practice assignments in here and then reviews for tests and everything. So I'm just starting your class. So I'm going to upload it right here when we get done with that. It's going to go right here. But then as soon as I get done with this, and here I am at the beginning of July, so I should get this done no problem. I already got your second semester done right here. Um, and my goal is, is to get um, first and second semester of uh, six, seven, and eight done. I have most of your high school lessons done also, so as soon as I get done with these, I'll upload those in here. I need a place to put them, but they'll be down here. But anyway, your your grade six is right here. Let's get started with this assignment that you've done before. You've divided fractions before. You might have forgotten how to do it. Here, I'm going to remind you how to do it. So at the beginning of all these practices, they give us tips for success, and so they uh, suggest to read the assignment carefully and make sure that you answer each part of the question or the questions. We'll have this uh, in every one of them. And then check your work when you're done, if and when it's applicable. So here's our assignment here. So to find a quotient, quotient is um, code word division. To find the quotient of two fractions, divide two fractions, we first need to rewrite the division problem as an equivalent multiplication problem. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, what? Well, uh, I'm going to remind you how to do this because I know you've seen this before. So let's do that with this quotient right here. Two thirds divided by six fifths. OK, so we're going to find the quotient using multiplication. So this division is going to become a multiply and this six fifths. We're going to change that. So let's talk about that. So here's two thirds divided by six fifths just to slide it up to make more room in this division problem. Which one is the dividend? This is a dirty pool, you guys. Um, uh, it's just a definition, you guys. The dividend is this number right here. What 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 we're dividing into, okay? Or I guess, yeah. So um, this is the dividend. This is the quotient right here. So um, anyways, two-thirds is the dividend right there. So there's one point right there, okay? And then uh, this one says, which one is the divisor? Okay, oh, let's see, the quotient is the answer. I, I apologize. So the divisor is this one. So dividend divided by the divisor. So the divisor is six fifths. Okay, and then the next part is what's the reciprocal? Just starting to sort of ring a bell. Reciprocal is to flip the fraction. So what's the reciprocal of six fifths? Five sixths. Okay, all right, now I'm going to keep this problem here. Remember, this is the the, the dividend, this is the divisor, and then the reciprocal is 5, 6. All right, I'm going to put number 4 right here. Number 4 says, rewrite this division problem as an equivalent multiplication problem using the reciprocal of the divisor. Now, if you've never done this before, this makes no sense. But if you have, it'll be a ringing memory bell right here. So this is what we do. We do the first fraction divided by the second fraction is equal to the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second fraction. And I like to think of this. Keep this one. Keep this one the same. Flip this one. And then, I'm sorry, let's go back over here. Keep this one the same. Flip this one so it's flipped. And then change this to this. So keep, flip, change. That's what I think. Keep, flip, change, which is KFC. Keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, change the division to a multiplication. Okay, so KFC, keep, flip, change. Okay, so now let's multiply uh, to find the quotient of the original problem. So now it says show your work. Any math teacher in the country would require you to show your work. If they don't do that, I'd like to talk to them because um, um, uh, your work when you're when I, I teach high school math and so um, I tell my students that your work is 90% of your credit. Your correct answer is 10% of your credit. So 
um, a real emphasis, especially when you take like AP tests, when you're trying to go to college, they want to see your work. You can get, you can get um, the whole problem wrong, but your work is so correct that you'll get 90% on, on your AP test. So show your work. Always, always, always show your work. Okay, so I'm going to take this two-thirds times five-sixths, and we're going to multiply it times top times top over bottom times bottom. So two times five is 10. Three times six is 18. So we get 10 over 18. And then, of course, simplify whenever you can. So at 10 over 18, I can recognize that 2 divides into 10 and divides into 18. So as long as we do it to the top and bottom, and here I am, I'm taking the top divided by 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So our final answer is 5 nines. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and take care.